hello there i am still chugging water i just choked for like three minutes straight don't know how i'm allowed to tell this tale but um so it <clears throat> excuse me for the extra clearing of my throat but anyway i'm gonna get right into it i don't want to make this video super super long that's what all of you guys all of you real youtubers say somehow it's still a really long video so i'm gonna try to make my video pretty short and to the point but I'll start with saying that I have a deviated septum. So um, I've always had one. I'm pretty sure it was due to some trauma when I was younger. I'm really not sure. Um, but it's pretty bad. Um, it causes me to snore. It causes me to lose a lot of sleep now. I wouldn't say lose a lot of sleep, but it's not the most comfortable sleep anymore. Like, I, I never had a problem sleeping. So now I'm wondering, does this contribute to it? Because I'm so used to getting up every day with like a stuffy nose as a lot of people experience. But mine is due to the fact that my de my septum is deviated to the right. So I do deviate it to the right. That's my right. Um, but so yeah, so my septum's deviated and it just causes a lot of problems. It causes a lot of like little annoying problems. And my my biggest problem I would say right now is that I snore. Like I'm not, here we are. We're gonna talk about the fact that I don't want to snore. I don't wanna snore when I'm by myself. I don't wanna snore if I'm under the covers, not by myself. Um, But I just don't wanna snore and I just feel like it's always been an issue and it's a real issue so for I mean the cosmetic reason um is definitely there so I have a deviated septum if I look this way maybe yes you can definitely see it but if I look this way you can definitely see it so this is the side that it's deviated to and you get a nice little ugly view of my side profile and my side profile has always been something that I've been insecure about, but I just don't even, you know, like I, it is what it is. Like I never thought that I would get surgery for it and I definitely wasn't paying for it. Not that I didn't have the money, but <clears throat> apparently mine is so bad that, um, I need the most invasive surgery. So this is just a pre pre op. So right now, um, again, I was choking to death. So, you know what? Speed drink water real quick. So, um, it's just not something I really thought about. Then I started, I get older, now I'm using Breathe Right strips. Like, I don't want to be using Breathe Right strips before I go to bed. I'm tired of, like, just, like, using things up my nose to try to clear myself, try to clearing my throat. Um, right now I'm doing it because I was just choking, like I said. But I'm just tired of those little things. And I feel like the little things, when you become older, I am an, um, up 29. So as you become older, it just, be, it just, it's like, it turns you off. And you're like, okay, now this is the reason I have health insurance, right? And this is what adulting is, right? <sighs> Adulthood. Just plain old ghetto hate it but anyway so um fast forward i went to the hospital saw my doctor who's dr prince i love him already um he is going to be doing the turbinate reduction and septoplasty so he is covering all medical components of my surgery and then we have dr shalice agrawal who is the plastic surgeon who will be removing the deviated bone Oh, see, so like, you can see how bad that bone is when you press on it. Not cute. But anyway, I got both the medical and the cosmetic portion approved, which is a gem. Like, I don't have to pay for any of this besides my deductible, so I will have that. I had a million questions and watched every video under the YouTube sun. So I figured now I could just, you know, make one that at least show another video just another thing out there um the more information the more informed you are the i feel like the better on your mental and the better prep you are <clears throat> i forgot to mention i have like really bad health anxiety i 
have really bad health anxiety surprisingly i'm not afraid like so far i'm also like i said two months if i didn't say that i think i said that um two months out my surgery is on july 16th so i've not obviously had surgery yet um obviously oh this is the side this is the beauty so um so yeah so far i met with the medical doctor and he put the little camera up my nose saw how bad it was decided that my turbinates which is like lies here they are inflamed on the inside so he will be reducing them this is me reducing them and then my plastic surgeon he will be only removing you guys would not see my hair oh but you'll see this pimple on my forehead sexy but he will be removing just the bump well that's what he says he better that's all i want is the bump removal so he's going to be you know taking this hump away he says that um he will not do any tip work because i don't want anything i just literally want my bump it was so simple the pre the consultation um because all i did was point here and he was like got it and then was just like did his little thing wrote his little report took his little before pictures um and then you know then they submit to insurance and here we are approved and ready to go exactly two months out um i don't know if, exactly two months to surgery i don't know if out like is the right word because i not out of surge i don't know um definitely just anyway continuing um so i don't i never had surgery uh, that's another part so i've never had surgery i'm so far not afraid to go under who knows how i'm gonna feel that day i'm still asking for anything that they can give me for anxiety to go up my bloodstream and that iv also um i did mention to them that i'm very I get nauseous so easily like it's just any pills anything I'm yeah that's that's pretty much the beginning so stay tuned let's watch this bump be removed together